Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see malaria in pregnancy. Malaria in pregnancy is very dangerous and it can cause all these consequences. It can cause abortion, poor fetal mental development, it can cause premature labor, it can cause intrauterine fetal retardation, it can cause fetal death, severe maternal anemia. Anemia in mothers it can cause severe anemia in mothers. Of course, after that, it can also cause death. How do we manage uncomplicated malaria in pregnancy? In first trimester, we give oral quinine, oral quinine, 600 milligram, 8 hourly for 7 days. So, how about if you don't have quinine, you can use the combined therapy, that is quartem, maybe use if you don't have quinine. How about in the second and the third trimester, the first line treatment is quartem. Atemeta and lumafantrin. That is, we give four tablet, four tablet, BD or twice a day for three days, and then the first line alter, the first line alternative, when this one is not there, what we do, we give dihydroatomicinin and then prepare a queen, pialaxin. You can see Ducotexin, all those ones are under this. We have these two drugs. That one we are going to give three tablets once for three days. And then if there is no response, we give oral quinine. 600 milligram, eight hourly for seven days how do we manage complicated or severe malaria in pregnancy all trimester you give iv attestinate 2.4 milligram per kilogram body weight bd for three doses then once a day until the mother is able to tolerate oral treatment. If the mother is now able to tolerate oral treatment, you switch to combined therapy for more three days. And then if a tesonate is not there, you use a temeta. A temeta will give the loading dose of 3.2 milligram per kilogram body weight and then once a day until the mother is able to tolerate the oral treatment then you need to finish the dose of the treatment with combined therapy so if there is no, no improvement at the cause of the, the treatment, what you do, you need to give IV quinine, 10 milligram per kilogram body weight in dextrose, 5% to prevent the hypoglycemic side effects, to run for... Four hours and then rest for four hours again. So it's given eight hourly for one day. In summary, we talked about malaria in pregnancy. So we state to manage malaria in pregnancy, we start with uncomplicated one. 
In first trimester, we give oral quinine eight hourly for three days, for seven days, that is 600 milligram. And if quinine is not there, we can give combined therapy, that is quartem. And then in second and third trimester, we give quartem four tablet BD for three days. And then the alternative for quartem is dihydroatomicinin and then prepare a queen that is three tablet once a day for three days. And then if all this one is not there, we can give oral queen in 600 milligram, eight hourly for seven days. That is all how we can manage severe malaria in pregnancy. So and then we came to complicated malaria, severe malaria in pregnancy. You said in all trimester, we give IV atesunate 2.4 mg per kilogram body weight BD for 3 doses and then once a day until the mother is able to tolerate the oral treatment. And then the second, the first line alternative is atemetha. We give 3.2 mg per kilogram body weight and then this is a loading dose. And then we give 1.6 milligram one point six milligram once a day until the person is able to take oral drugs. If there is no improvement, we can shift to quinine. 10 mg per kilogram body weight in dextrose 5%. To educate the mother about malaria, the causes, prevention, and what to do if she's not feeling well. That is all. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.